Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today we have uh, some figures and this is by Rich R-I-I-C-H Models called Road to Victory. It's a World War II British leader set. Hmm. So let's check this out. I saw it at the hobby shop a while back. So let's open this up and see what we've got. When I saw this at the hobby shop a while back, I thought, oh, this would be kind of interesting someday. And then Kit Links had a sale recently. And I think I picked this up for like seven, eight bucks. It wasn't, it wasn't much. And I thought, yeah, I can't pass that up. It looks like we have some decals according to this. And here's the assembly instructions and painting instructions. Let's see who we have here. So we have Lieutenant General Brian Horrocks, commander of the 20th Corps. We have Pamela Churchill, Winston's daughter-in-law. Didn't even know he had one. Uh, Sir Winston Churchill. And of course, Monty. Now I've gotten Monty from a couple of other sources, so I've got I've got a few Montgomerys laying around in my collection. Let's see how this one looks. This Churchill will actually go really good with my De Gaulle and my um, my Ike figure that I have. So I'm excited about that. I want to look at these decals a little closer. Oh, they're puny. Uh, I don't know. That's probably as close as I'm going to be able to get with any focus. But there you go. That's kind of nice. It's something that, to me, a kits didn't have. <clears throat> and looking at the figures. Um, pretty typical. There's going to be a little cleanup on the sides, but not much. Uh... Compared to some of the other figures I've done, some of those other dragon figures, um, yeah, there's you know a little bit of mold seam here, but not not a whole lot. So that's that's good. Be interested to see how they fit when I put them together. Hands behind the back, huh? Yeah, look pretty darn good. The uh, the engravings are all really good I mean I don't know that you can see it but like all the metals and stuff uh, on the chest of the figure it looks <laughs> looks really good I'm gonna have to look at this all the campaign ribbons here on uh, uh, on Winnie yeah I'm gonna have to look at this under my uh, yeah, my, my glasses. <laughs> Under here, how's that? Uh, I'm pretty impressed. The engravings on the face look really good. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the, the, oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> the, the tie, I mean, everything on here, the, the engraving is all really, really good. So, 
Looks like a pretty darn good quality. Never knew about this rich model until now, so uh, this will be my first dealing with them. So there you go. Not sure 100% what I will do with all the figures other than uh, just add Winston to my World War II leader collection. But I'm sure I'll find some kind of diorama I can use them in. So there you go. Anyway, from Rich Models and 35th scale. Uh, definitely looks, I would definitely recommend them. And for the price I paid, yeah, I would definitely recommend them. So, all right, folks, join us next week for something else weird on the stash.